Excellencies, I have the honor of speaking as a pro tempore president of the Central American Commission for the Environment and Development, formed by eight countries that constitute the Central American Integration System, CICA, Belize, Costa Rica, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Panama, Dominican Republic, and El Salvador. Recognizing and supporting the United Nations Decade for Ecosystem Restoration, our country, acting in a coordinating manner and committed to the primary task of reducing greenhouse gas emissions and combating climate change, has formulated and established a joint goal by increasing its, its ambition in the agriculture, forest, and other land uses, AFOLU, because it is precisely in the AFOLU sector that our region has the highest levels of emissions, on average exceeding 50% of the region's total emissions. Also, due to the progress in the harmonization of our action in monitoring systems in this sector, the region has initiatives and projects that allow us to present aggregated information on mitigation and adaptation to climate change. Thus it is, under a synergic approach in two action areas uh, in this summit, nature-based solutions and resilience and adaptation, uh, that the SICA in El Salvador is proposing its initiative, committing to conserve and restore 10 million hectares for the year 2030, rehabilitating degraded lands, conserving and restoring our forests, and moving in an articulate manner towards low carbon agriculture, including in this action our main export crops that sustain our economies, such as sugarcane, pineapple, palm oil, cocoa, and coffee. The concrete and detailed action plan for, this uh, for the compliance of this goal that we will present at COP25 will be a structured as a flexible and scalable action framework, which will allow increasing the ambition in the proposed goal for the year 2030 by future addition of new actions and plans in the next decade, conceived as well as an action framework beyond 2030, aiming to transform the AFOLU sector from being our region's main emitter into a carbon neutral one in 2040. Additionally, with this initiative, the SICA region is recognized as one of the richest in biodiversity on the planet. We will be effectively contributing to conserve 12% of the biological diversity that is located in the region, including the conservation of genetic resources of great importance for food and agriculture. The region only represents 2% of the Earth's surface, but has 12% of biological diversity in the world. Central America has been typified uh, globally as the most responsive region to climate change. And in recent years, both, both the Isthmus and the Dominican Republic have, have experienced an increase in the number and intensity of climate disasters. We are, are a very vulnerable uh, area. The eight countries of our integration system are fully aware of the enormous challenge of simultaneously addre addressing the agriculture and forest sectors. However, this action is essential to build a comprehensive climate resilience with global co-benefits. We are also aware that we undertake this ambitious commitment taking to the limits our technical and financial resources, though we do so under the certainty that we serve the highest cost that, to that today summons us uh, here. This requires us the great responsibility and efficiency in the design and implementation of the action plan that we have to present next December at COP25. El Salvador deeply believes in the nature-based solutions. We would like to thank and acknowledge the great effort made by the Secretary General of the United Nations and his team in promoting and leading this great global movement for the benefit of the planet and humanity. There is no planet B. Thank you, Your Excellencies.